ladies and gentlemen, my name is Royce and welcome back to A Drink With Crazy. It's been a little while since I've done a Rip Reverse video because I'll be honest, not a whole lot has been going on with the Rip Reverse stuff uh, because we're just waiting for the book to come out. Eric July has done some updates, but I figure instead of doing updates on Eric July's updates, I'm just going to let you guys go over to Eric July's stuff. If there's something that he does that I feel like I could add to the conversation, I absolutely do those videos, and you guys have seen me do that. But without any further ado, we're talking about Santuan and trying to do a little bit of theory crafting here as to who Santuan is and what his background with Isom is going to be. Tonight's video, I am uh, I'm just drinking Bud Light tonight, and I think uh, I'm going to try to record another video or two after this one, and from there, I'm going to be switching over to non-alcoholic beverages. Because reasons. I will explain those later, but without any further ado, let's get into this video. So, Santuan is an except that we have heard about in the Ripaverse uh, release. <clears throat> and over here on the campaign page, let's scroll back up all those epic pictures, which we have seen a ton of. And keep still scrolling, still scroll. All right, there we go. And one of the things here, let's talk about this right here. All right. A man built like a tank by the name of Santuan reappears, and he's had previous confrontation with Avery. So what happens with Avery and Darren's meeting? That's really all we get from Santuan, or about Santuan, is he reappears. He's had previous confrontations with Avery, and... Who is this mysterious man? Well, let's scroll back down here and see that shot of Avery and Santuan duking it out. Oh, I can't click on the picture to make it bigger. Eric, work on that. I need to be able to click the pictures on your website and make them bigger. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> but as we can see here, man's dressed up in street clothes here. Looks like he's got some sort of a pack on his belt, which that's kind of an interesting a uh, little bit of an interesting choice there to have a pack on the belt like that. Uh, gloves on his hands. He is a larger man for sure. And you can see what looks like these guys are lifting off of the ground and stuff is shattered around them. So I definitely think uh, we're going to see powers of strength between these two guys here. Uh, it looks like Avery's already got something on his cheek. Maybe he already got uh, cut up. But the man, to me, looks like he is some version of an enforcer. Now, that could be law enforcement enforcer. It could be a gang-related enforcer. Um, or it could just be some guy trying to help out his neighborhood who's not a big fan of Avery. They've had confrontations in the past. That doesn't necessarily mean he's a bad guy. I think that there's kind of a personal connection here. Um, and just based off of the way that they kind of drew both of these guys, the short haircuts... Kind of similar facial features, obviously, except for in terms of size. I would almost want a theory craft that they might be related somehow. I could be entirely wrong, though. That's just what it looks like. But yeah, we've got the black pants here, the black shoes, and obviously it looks like that could be a black shirt. And then the gloves on the hands, which show that he probably uses his hands to do a lot of his talking for him. Uh, the only other really thing that we have seen here is this here. Santuan over here. Big arms. It's a gray shirt, I guess. So maybe that was just some coloration. But gray arms. He's got this look on his face like, oh, hey, it's you. I've been waiting to see you for a long time. So they probably got into some epic bouts a while back. And we are going to see the fruition of uh or well hopefully understand a little bit more of the backstory i think santuan whenever you have characters that are sized up like this they're really tall i think this guy is just gonna have brute strength utter brute strength um and i think that he's probably from the old neighborhood he probably uh grew up with darren and uh, Avery here and is looking to uh, get back at these guys for some reason. Um, again, they, man, I, 
I I am just throwing this out there. Like the the thing that jumped out at me is like why? Okay, because they're very mysterious about it, right? Like they didn't talk about the relationship. It just says he reappears and they've had confrontations in the past, and it was obviously important enough for Eric July to mention it. So I think there's something a little deeper here. I think that there's some sort of family relation here, maybe a cousin. I don't think a brother, but. I wouldn't rule that out. My theory, my personal theory crafting is that we could be looking at a familial relationship between these two gentlemen. And I am kind of excited to see how that takes place. Now, because we don't really have a lot to work on, we have basic street clothes, which makes it very hard. Um, we have the gloves on the hands. That kind of goes into that it could be... You know, a power set. Maybe they were kind of duking it out to be like the superhero of the streets where they came from. I don't know. That could be something else I would think could absolutely happen. And that's where their confrontation comes from. Um, And again, this look on the face right here isn't so much. And it looks kind of like Avery over here. Isom is just like, dude, come on. I don't have time for this. And Santuan's like, oh... I do have time for this. I've been waiting for this for a long time. So there's there's probably... I get Goku and Vegeta vibes here, right? Um, I get that thing where Santuan's always kind of been like the runner-up to Isom. And he's probably got a grudge on his shoulder. And I'm just and I'm 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 glitz, I'm just rolling through, you know, on the fly, just stream of consciousness right now. As to uh, picture speaks a thousand words, right? And this is a very well drawn picture. Obviously, the lighting and the shadowing show that this guy is definitely uh, definitely not to be messed with, and he definitely has some darker intentions. He's got a half cocked smile on, and Avery looks surprised to see him. My question is, is why, why with the little bit of information that we were given, why is this character so important that Rippa felt the need to mention him in the story breakdown and to tease this character? Because he only teased a few characters and maybe because he's only going to introduce a few characters. And he was like, hey, let's just let's just tease all the characters that we're talking about. So that way people can get an idea of what we're going for here. Um, <clears throat> overall. With the lack of information on Santuan, I didn't know if I really wanted to do a theory crafting video on him, but somebody had mentioned in the premiere chat, it's like a live chat for premiere videos here on YouTube, they mentioned the other day that they would like to see some more Ripaverse content and they'd like to see something about Santuan. And I was like, well, yeah, I haven't done a Ripaverse video in a while. It's probably a good idea to do that considering that's what a lot of people are here for. I'm just waiting for the book to come out because I'm going to be doing some crazy stuff when the book comes out. Like my, I, I would imagine that once I receive the book, my Saturday is going to be completely full. Like I'm going to have to read the book as quickly as I can and then really start working on the, um, on the content that I'm going to do for you guys. So... There is that. <clears throat> Overall, I think what we are looking at here is an old rivalry of sorts. Um, I said the brother thing. I said the cousin thing. I am now leaning into the Goku and Vegeta thing. And that's probably just because I got out watching uh, Dragon Ball Super Superhero the other day. And I may do another video on that one. I'm 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 thinking about that. Mm, I don't know. But we'll get into the Dragon Ball Super Super stuff later. Anyway... That's pretty much where I'm at with this character, is there's, uh, there's such a limited thing. I don't know anything about the name of Santuan, though. So, does that name, for those of you out there who are uh, history or mythology buffs way better than me, do you guys happen to know where the name Santuan could come from? I guess I could Google it. Uh, and kind of figure it out, but I, I mean, a five-minute Google pales in comparison to the knowledge that you guys have brought to my comments section, so it's, I would almost rather wait for you guys to comment and let me know, because I feel like I would probably get more out of it in that instance, um, because it seems like Isom and Yaira and... These names have a specific meaning. Eric July is a very smart man, and he didn't just pull these names from nowhere. He didn't just make them up on the fly. Like, I would totally make them up on the fly. Um, but yeah, the, I, I'm, I'm kind of wondering what that means 
as far as his name goes, his size, he's got to be, he's got to be a strong dude. Obviously, in this, in that image, like I said, these guys are taking off off the ground to fight each other. And while they're doing that, like stuff is coming up off the ground underneath their feet. So these guys got some serious power when, when they're jumping. And again, this guy has a pack over here on the side of his belt. That could be handcuffs. That could be, it might, I, I really think he's probably some version of an enforcer. Maybe he's a, you know, law enforcement or something like that. Cause that's just, that's the only thing that sticks out to me out of his entire getup is that pack on his belt. And that could be, if you've ever you know seen police, they, you know, they don't carry cuffs open. They do, they carry them in, in small Molly packs like that. Well, it might, I, I won't say it's going to be Molly or it's going to be any sort of, you know, quick attach system or modular system. But anyway, that's a, that's a, that's tactical gear. We won't get into tactical gear here, but um, that's the only thing that jumps out to me with this guy. And then just the way that he's dressed, the slick black boots, all that. My guess is, is some version of an enforcer. And I think he came up as the number two uh, to ice him back in the day. And he's kind of got that chip on his shoulder as a complex. But I want you guys to let me know what you think down in the comments below, because that's the best part about theory crafting videos is I get to talk with you guys a lot. And I do my best to respond to all of you as much as I can. Uh, and if I have something to say to you guys, I will. And if I don't, I generally just leave a th thank you or, you know, sometimes I just, I don't even have the time to comment and, and, and whatnot. But Hopefully you guys are enjoying the content on the channel. And if you guys are, it's like 80% of the people checking out this channel are not subscribed to it. If you guys subscribed and watched, if you guys want to watch what I'm doing, obviously don't subscribe and just leave me sit there in your subscription box for forever and a day. But if you actively like what I'm doing here and you think you're going to come back and you're going to watch more of the videos that I'm doing, I want you guys to subscribe and come back and hang out with me because it's been an absolute blast to get to know all of you. And honestly, if everybody, if like the 80% of people who aren't watching or who are watching but aren't subscribed, subscribe, we could probably be over a thousand subscribers like tonight. I'm not saying that will happen. I'm just saying like the numbers don't lie, right? So with all of that being said, thank you guys all so much for being here. And I look forward to seeing you next time right here on A Drink With Crazy. Cheers, everybody. Thank you for watching A Drink With Crazy. If you liked the conversation, make sure to click here to see more.